video cast number 97, Explained in the Cub and Boy Scout programs. Following up on the acronyms video from last week, this week is an overview of the Cub and Boy Scout programs. The Cub Scouting program is from boys and girls from ages 5 to age 10 and a half. In Scouts, kids learn an ever-increasing level of skills, skills like first aid and citizenship. As example, a young scout will learn how to put on a band-aid and why it's important to clean a cutout. Older scouts will learn how to apply a splint. When cubs transition to boy scouts, this learning continues and they learn things like how to treat for shock and what to do in certain situations. Cubs progress through the program much like social promotion. Each year is a continuation of what scouts have learned the prior year, but you do not need to complete a prior year to start a new year. A child that wants to try scouts can just as easily join at age six as they can at age eight or nine. Cub Scouts has a structured program that is outlined in the handbook. Each year the scouts use a different book to learn things and complete activities. Cubs is also a family program. The Cubs work with the parent or guardian to complete activities. As the program progresses from lion to tiger to wolf, parents take an active role. As the program transitions year to year, parents will slowly take a step back. In the bear and weeblos year, parents take on an advisory role and a helper role. When boys or girls move from Cub Scouts to Scouting's BSA, the scout leads with help and training from the older scouts. The culmination of the Cub program is the end of the one and a half year Weeblos program, where scouts transition from Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouting program, or Scouts BSA as it's now named, is open for scouts from ages 10 and a half to 18 years of age. If new to the Scouts BSA program, and a child has not completed the Weeblos Hour of Light, they must wait until age 11 to start. Like the Cub program, Scouts can join at any time. Unlike the Cub program, Boy Scouts progress at their own pace. There is no social promotion. And while advancement is a method of scouting, it is not the only method. Scouts BSA works on a rank-based system meaning the scout completes items to earn rank, and each rank has a set of items that needs to be completed to get to the next rank. While you can work on requirements from multiple ranks, you must earn rank sequentially, and some ranks have elements that must be completed while obtaining that rank. These are positions of responsibility and service. The ranks transition from scout to tenderfoot, to second class, to first class. These are the early ranks, where the scouts are learning general skills to be prepared. More advanced ranks include star, life, and eagle. This is where scouts have more requirements for service and leadership. While the two programs have some differences, the main purpose is to prepare individuals to think for themselves and teach them the tools to succeed, not only in scouting, but hopefully for life. Take what you like, leave the rest, and as we say in Woodbadge, feedback is a gift. Leave yours below in the comments with all the hope we can learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was a primer for the scouting programs.